Hey, how are you? My name is Hector and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Philips Norelco 7500. So let's go. Now, I've noticed that you guys actually like the grooming videos because those get the most views and you guys might have seen this one. I did a review on the Philips Norelco 3500. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it right here or somewhere up here. You guys can go watch that. But so uh, like a few weeks ago, I was going on a trip and I was getting ready to pack this bad boy, take it with me. And somehow I just, I don't know if it just, I dropped it or I don't know what. Something happened, it fell out of my hands. This little attachment here was in here and it fell down and this piece here broke in two. So this thing finally gave out. Now I decided to go pick another one up just because this one I didn't really have any issues with it except that the it didn't work unless it was plugged in so that that's not as comfortable as you know just holding it and, and doing it but uh, it did a good job almost five years close to five years um, I don't know if they still sell this one but when I went to go check online the only one I found was the Philips Norelco 3500 so I've been using it for a few weeks now and as you can see here my beard it grows pretty fast so I've used it enough times that I feel that I can give you guys a good and honest review on the product so let's get started alright so first things first what comes in the box right the package alright guys so here we go we have the trimmer Philips Morocco 7500 and um, as you can see here this trimmer does come with 20 length settings uh, and you're able to adjust it with just rotating this little black thing here. It looks made out of rubber. Uh, it goes from uh, 0.5 all the way to, up to 10. So it goes, uh, you know, 0 0.5, 1, 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, uh, all the way to 10. Now it does come with this attachment here. Uh, clip or comb whatever you want to call it you attach it to the trimmer and you're able to adjust the settings uh, to whatever length you want your beard um, again uh, from 0.5 all the way up to 10 uh, I guess it just depends on your style so it, we also have this uh, trimmer detailer is what they call it and you're able to attach it to the trimmer itself uh, that comes with uh, two combs or clips that you can attach it so you can work on, you know, detailing your mustache or, you know, whatever area of the beard you want. Um, all you do is you remove this one here, you attach it just like you see it here, and you're ready to go. Uh, I like that you can do this in a matter of seconds. Now, you have uh, this detachable uh, head here which is waterproof so you're able to wash it with water uh, if you need to clean it before every use which you should actually as you can see here again pretty easy you just attach it and next we have these little brushes that you can also use to clean either the blade um, as I'm doing here I'm cleaning the blade I'm cleaning outside on the uh, little blades there then you have this little thing which I'm guessing it's for you to clean inside the little vacuum area where all the hair can stick it also comes with the storage bag which I thought was leather that's what it looked like on the picture but it's uh, it appears to be made out of some soft material and I guess you can use that when you need to take it travel somewhere last but not least we have the charger itself pretty standard you just connect it when you need to charge your trimmer and um, we have the, the branding there on the actual plug-in part of it. Now, I want to tell you guys, what are the things that I don't like about this one? And it's not very many, to be honest with you guys. So I would say the first one is the size. As you can see, compared to this one, this one was a lot easier to carry with me if I needed to travel, go anywhere. Uh, it was a perfect size. This one, is it's a little bigger. So, you know, when I, when I go on a trip, I like to you know the the less I pack the better right so having something like this is it's a little big to travel with but uh, that's that's one of the things I don't like now the second thing that I don't like is that they included this little vacuum inside which is when you're trimming your beard or whatever it's supposed to catch about 90 or 85 percent of the hair for you know 
and, and you don't have all that hair all over your sink. I know if, if you're married like me, then, uh, you know, girls hate this uh, when you leave hair on the sink, right? So this is supposed to help with that, I guess, but uh, I just don't see the point of it. Um, I would gladly make it smaller than to have that because let's face it, you still got to clean the mess. The 20 or 10% extra that a dead fall on is, you still have to clean the mess. So, uh, you know, regardless, you still have to clean. So that's the only thing I didn't like about it. Other than that, I like that it does have, like I said, it has the extra clips. So I, I'm able to, as you can see here, shape the beard to whatever size I want. And then go in with this detailer and get the mustache area. Um, and then with the combs or clips, you just attach it there and you're able to clean everything very nice so um you know there's not a lot much to say about a beard trimmer i guess but uh this one the only risk the only reason that i picked this one up is because it was uh i you know i picked it up at the store target which i live like right next to target so um it was just easy for me to just grab real quick like i said i was going on a trip and i needed something fast but it turned out to be pretty okay I'm not going to say that it's the best out there. I do believe that there's better ones out there. But definitely for the price, I think it's not that bad. Uh, we'll just have to see, you know, how, how I do uh, in the next few years. Again, I'm expecting it to last a while. I mean, this one, this one technically still works if you plug it in, you know. And But I like I said, I don't have the attachment for it. So there's no use for it, right? Um, but again, we'll see how this one does. And... That's it guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you like this video and give me some suggestions of some amazing trimmers out there for guys with uh, pretty thick beards like myself here. I like to keep it pretty clean so a, a good trimmer is important in your grooming tools and uh, so let me know what good trimmers are out there or some trimmers that you may want to see a review on. And I'll be, I'll look at them, I'll look at the comments, and maybe I'll make some videos out of that. But uh, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching once again. Talk to you guys soon.